top 10 largest and most dangerous theropods of the dinosaur era. Among all the representatives of the age of dinosaurs, theropods stand out as the most recognizable and widespread group of lizards. Among the representatives of this type of dinosaurs, there are a variety of species, from small and little known to the masters of the animal world of their time. It is the latter that we will talk more about today. Subscribers to our channel have the opportunity to comment on the videos they have watched, expressing their opinions on the topics we cover. Also, by subscribing to the channel, you can be the first to know about the release of new videos. And if you want to help promote this video on search engine algorithms, you can do it by giving it a like. Theropods belong to the lizard-like dinosaurs. They are considered the most evolutionarily advanced group of prehistoric lizards and the ancestors of modern birds. Their name can be translated as beast, and theropods are named for their three-toed clawed feet, resembling the paws of modern animals. Among the representatives of this group there were not only predators, but also herbivorous lizards. Throughout all periods of the age of dinosaurs, there were species that dominated the rest of the animals and terrified them. Here are the top 10 largest and most dangerous theropods. Carcharodontosaurus. Literally, the name of this dinosaur which lived in the Cretaceous period about 100 million years ago, translates as shark-toothed lizard. It was described by a pair of teeth found in the 1920s in Algeria. Later, many more remains of this large theropod were discovered in North Africa. According to the findings, scientists concluded that these lizards could reach a length of 13 meters and a height of up to 4 meters. The skull with 20 centimeter jagged teeth was up to one and a half meters long. In its structure, Carcharodontosaurus resembles Giganotosaurus and Allosaurus. Therefore, scientists, as new data emerge, then allocated it to a separate family, then attributed to one of these families. It is also quite likely that Allosaurus could be its ancestor. Zarophagonax. From the scattered remains found in the early 30s of the 20th century in the United States, scientists have reconstructed the approximate size of this lizard. He had a body length of up to 13 and height of up to 4 meters, weighed up to 4.5 tons. Some researchers attributed it to a particularly large species of Allosaurus. Scientists have now found and studied the scattered remains of four poorly preserved animals, it is known that they lived about 150-155 million years ago on the territory of the North American continent. Mapusaurus. The largest skeleton discovered is just under 11 meters long and about 4 meters high. But many scientists claim that these theropods could have reached much larger sizes. Mapusaurus lived in what is now Argentina about 93-99 million years ago. This area at that time was covered with sparse forests and grassy plains. In such conditions, it is easier to get food as part of a cohesive hunting group. The remains found together confirm this assumption. Delta Dromus. Fossils of this large yet fairly light theropod were discovered in Egypt and Morocco as early as the beginning of the last century, with some of the bones described as remains of another species. With a height of 2.5 meters and a body length of 8 to 13 meters, their weight was no more than 2 tons. Deltadromes lived at the same time and in the same territory as Spinosaurus and Carcharodontosaurus, so they had to solve the competition issue by choosing different prey and developing their own ways of hunting. Deltadromus became an active predator and presumably hunted young herbivorous dinosaurs. For this purpose it acquired fast and powerful hind legs, as well as a powerful shoulder girdle. Reliable information about the structure of the skull of this predatory theropod is practically absent. At the moment, researchers have only samples of several teeth. Carnotaurus. In 1984, an expedition of the National Geographic Society of Argentina discovered the almost completely preserved skeleton of a new large theropod. This species was named Carnotaurus, which means carnivorous bull. This name was given to the dinosaur for the bony growths on its head, similar to horns. Recent studies have shown that the length of Carnotaurus was hardly more than 8 meters, and growth, 2 meters 70 centimeters. This theropod weighed about 2 tons. Carnotaurs lived in the Cretaceous period, about 70 million years ago. Allosaurus. This large lizard-like dinosaur, discovered in the United States in the second half of the 19th century, was the first species to be classified as a theropod. 
Then its discovery sparked widespread interest in the scientific community to conduct subsequent excavations in Colorado and Wyoming, where decades of excavations have uncovered many dinosaur bones of many different species. Allosaurus, whose name can be translated as another lizard, lived in the Jurassic period, about 145-155 million years ago. It was a true giant up to 4 meters tall and up to 10 or possibly 13 meters long. Allosaurus weighed no more than two and a half tons for its impressive size. Tarbosaurus. Theropods did not only reign in Europe, Africa and the Americas, in what is now China and Mongolia in the late Cretaceous period. About 70 million years ago, lived a lizard like Tarbosaurus. It could reach 12 meters in length and weigh up to five tons. His remains were discovered by a joint Soviet-Mongolian expedition in the late 40s of the 20th century. The size of the largest of the discovered skulls of Tarbosaurus is almost one and a half meters. In terms of size, this Asian theropod is second only to Tyrannosaurus. Digonotosaurus. In the late 1980s, a lower jaw fragment with a few preserved teeth was discovered in Argentina. This fragment surpassed similar bones of many known theropods and was described as the remains of an as yet unknown species. A few years later, a well-preserved tibia was discovered, and other specimens were found within a radius of 10 meters from it. According to the collected bones, scientists restored the appearance of the dinosaur, which was called Giant Southern Lizard. The initial assumption spoke about the length of his skull in 180-195 centimeters, but later it turned out that the skull of Giganotosaurus did not exceed in length 160 centimeters, and the total length of the body on average exceeded 12 and a half meters. The weight of Giganotosaurus is about seven to eight tons, with a height of up to four meters. These monsters lived in South America about 100 million years ago. Spinosaurus. It is the largest predator in the history of the Earth. Its parameters, appearance, and behavior have been a mystery for the last 100 years. During the study of the species many times put forward a variety of versions, lived this fish-eating dinosaur in North Africa 95, 110 million years ago. Its length is almost 15 meters, height of six meters, weighed Spinosaurus from five to seven and a half tons. Its main distinguishing features are an elongated crocodile-like mouth and a crest on its back. On the purpose and appearance of this crest, disputes among scientists have not subsided to this day. Tyrannosaurus completes our ranking of the biggest and scariest predators is not only the most famous theropod, but also the most popular species among all dinosaurs. It is the Tyrex is assigned the role of the main monster in many Hollywood movies and cartoons about dinosaurs. By the way, this role he quite deserved. Recent studies say that Tyrannosaurus could grow up to 13 meters in length and weigh up to nine tons. It was the most dangerous predator of the Cretaceous period he lived on the territory of North America and possibly Eastern Siberia. Scientists have not fully determined how all the same hunted Tyrex, but one thing is certain, those whom he attacked almost had no chance of rescue. Its main weapon was its powerful jaws. Thanks to its short neck and strong musculature, they could bite through any bones and leave monstrous wounds. Perhaps if dinosaurs had not disappeared, such large predators would have ceased to exist in time. But still we can say that the evolution of the ancestors of modern birds could have gone quite wrong, and now perhaps, the Earth would still be ruled by the descendants of large predatory theropods. We thank our viewers who watch this video to the end. Learn more about some of the described species, as well as other interesting facts about the evolution of life on the planet, can be found in other videos on our channel.